Okay. This here is a 1952 Rio Trimalon. Um, this used, uh, the, well, the old Rio engine um, starter recoil is missing, as are most of them at this age. Um, here's the throttle. This here controls the reel and the um, forward movement. You move it about halfway and the reel starts. You move it the rest of the way and the rest of the mechanism starts. Um, if you want to move the thing without it cutting, you push, you lift that up there like that. But I actually am going to be cutting a little bit along. This thing starts usually on the first pull every time, but probably won't now. for a close-up this thing actually has a little bit of an issue I don't know whether it was designed this way or not but the um, control lever acts directly on the throttle butterfly in a manner so which there is no actual speed regulation there's there's nothing so in other words as soon as it's under load you have to manually advance the throttle and uh, if you have a section of grass that isn't thick you have to take it off, lest the thing will start racing. Um, I think that's why you heard the um, mechanism speed up drastically, then slow down, and speed up and slow down. Uh, that was not my doing. If anything, I was trying to keep it from getting too high of RPM. These, I don't think these engines really would appreciate that. These Rio engines uh, actually have built-in two-to-one reduction gearing because the motor spins counterclockwise and the power is taken off the camshaft this one has further gear reduction in the form of this gearbox because this is the larger Tremolon model. Um, this is uh, what's known, they really weren't all that inventive when creating the name. This is what's known as a trimmer type machine. The, the head is free floating. If I push the handle up and down, you can see that a little bit. I do that. Yeah, the head is free floating so it doesn't scalp things. This is more of a commercial type machine. The smaller machines that use the side wheel design uh, more similar to a standard push mower with a motor bolted to the top of it only use the two to one gearing that the motors had to offer rio built this engine it wasn't any other competing manufacturer or any other outside contractor that did it but uh, this concludes a video on my 1952 rio tremolon oh actually i'll first put a so you can see the, the badge on it a little bit better That's the Rio.